What's up guys and welcome back to another 1UP Box Unboxing and we have the box for June. Here it is. Now the first thing I want to point out straight away as I turn my screen off is the size of this box, okay? Here it is, if I get this over, here is last month's box, okay? Here is last month's box, like so. Here is this month's box. It's a good deal like, shorter, I guess. It's the same the other ways, but it's not as tall. So, I don't know why that is. Maybe they've just packaged it a bit more securely this, this month. Um, or maybe there's another reason. Maybe it's, it's the stuff's more small rather than big. There's no figurine or plush or something like that. I don't know. We'll find out, though, when we open this month's box. This month's theme is Arcade. So, I'm really excited to see what we get for the Arcade month because, well, Arcade is like classic stuff. I mean, I know arcade isn't defined as classic, but it is a lot of the stuff is classic. Or you know, when you think of arcade, you think of classic arcade games. So if I open the box quickly, we can see what we have inside. If I open it up, there we are. Lovely. Okay, so I can see some stuff here. There is obviously the T-shirt and another figurine here. Not quite the same brand. It's a different brand, but we have a figurine. Um, so that looks cool. Hopefully, you guys can see it all there. So if we just pop it down, and we can see what we get. Okay, um, I guess I'll look at the t-shirt first, since it's the biggest thing. We'll unwrap it. What is this t-shirt all about? It is... Boom! I can put it there. Fight Fight Revolution. So it's a uh, Dance Dance Revolution, obviously, with the Dance 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 there. And I guess Fight is just a reference to, like, general, like, fighting arcade games. Um, I'm not sure if there's a specific reference there because of the character, but... Yeah, Dance Dance Revolution, Fight Fight Revolution, that's pretty cool. That's nice and a clean t-shirt there, as they always are. But yeah, that's that there. That's the t-shirt straight off the bat. If we get out next, this Pac-Man thing I spotted here, this, this little Pac-Man thing. What is this? I don't know what this is. It seems, to, oh, I think it is. It's food. Food, okay, I think they're Pac-Man sweets, because um, I can see some ingredients on the back, are like dextrose and citric acid, so I'm guessing they're Pac-Man sweets. How do I open them is another question, however. Um, the bottom, I think the bottom comes up. Oh, there we are. It's, uh, it's actually, it's not a proper sweet thing, it's just a, well, I guess it's a proper sweet thing, it's just a container. That's cool. And inside seems to be Pac-Man sweets. Yep, Pac-Man sweets, as you can see there. That's pretty cool, there's sort of the, um, I don't know what you call them. I guess like bonbons, but in shapes, I think they are. Um, I used to have them quite a lot, but, but yeah, that bit is empty because that's just the top bit there, obviously. That's just a nice container, I guess, or a nice little display thing as well. There we are. Pac-Man. Old Pac-Man arcade machine. That's pretty cool. Um, so sweets. I can eat sweets. It's good. Sweets are cool. Um, let's look at this figurine next. This lovely figurine here it is a Street Fighter bobblehead or a bobble bud, as it's called. Um, so if I open this up, so a bit different from the uh, the Captain America ball head we had in the first box I unboxed, but here it is here, I guess if we, yeah his head does bubble a bit, his head also comes off, we should ignore that though, and uh, yeah, oh there we are, that's better, that's what we wanted to see, there's his head bobbing away, boop, uh, I'm not too, too brushed up on Street Fighters, but, uh, or Street Fighter I should say, um, I'm not too sure what character this is. Um, uh, Gwil? Gwil? I don't know. I don't know, but yeah, another little bobblehead figurine there, um, which is pretty cool. It's sort of a little smaller one than before. What is this here? This is, I guess, just the instruction manual. Twist the rice harp. Okay. Um, okay. So I think the, the body can actually fit inside the head as well. So just for transport, I guess. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. A little bobblehead there. We shall see what else we got in this box. There is this I can see here. Blah, which is, um, I can't remember what they call them. A lanyard? Is it a lanyard? I can't remember what it's called. Um, so to put around your neck and you can hang stuff on it. Which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, which is Pac-Man based. Uh, let's see here. Press, that's the wrong way. Press start and it just goes around and yeah. Press start, game over, insert coin, stuff like that. So just Pac-Man based, because when you think of arcade, you think of Pac-Man. And you just put it on your neck, and then you can hang whatever you want on it. So 
Uh, if I ever get to another convention, or I will be going to another convention, I can always hang my pass if I get one, of course, on uh, on here, which is pretty cool. That's nice. A um, couple more things in the box, if you see here. Just a little couple more things. Let's go for this, I see, is uh, a zipper pull. It's Deadpool, actually. It's very similar to, or same sort of brand, I guess, of Marvel Comics. Uh, Zero a day, a week, a month, rather. Zipper pull there. Deadpool, if he will focus. Nope, Deadpool not focus, um, but Deadpool's cool. I've never really heard, well, I've heard Deadpool obviously, but I've never you know, watched or seen anything he's in. If you get my drift there, um, i just get, get, get out there. So yeah, if Deadpool focus now. Focus, Deadpool. There. Deadpool. It's all very similar to Spider-Man. Wait, is it, I just, is it, it just says Zipperpool, it doesn't say whether it's Deadpool or Spider-Man. I've just been calling it Deadpool for the last five minutes, but it's actually Spider-Man. I can't tell, they have very similar sort of masks. Um, it could be Spider-Man because of the lines, is what made me double think, double check. Um, or it could be Deadpool, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not too brushed up on superheroes. It is Marvel, so it could be either of them. So It's one of them, and it's a zipper pull, so you can put it on a zip, and have a zip on. But put it on a zip, and you can just, you know, helps you pull stuff and zip it up. Okay. Couple things left. We have this here, which seems to be a look like a, a sticker. It's an arcade, and it's got some. Uh, it's not going to focus, is it? No, not going to focus. Arcade, and we see what we got here. We can open up. We are. I'm guessing it's some sort of sticker, or maybe like a. I don't know. That, this is weird. Um. Yeah, it's a sticker. Some sort of sticky thing. Not like a sticker, but like a hard sticker, I guess. So, yeah, there's that. It looks pretty cool. Just another arcade little thing there. And then the one final thing we have here is the button, as usual. We have a little button here for the month. It goes this way if I just make sure I don't spike myself. Here we are. Let's go. One-up box. June 2015. Arcade. Boom. Nice. Sweet. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. It's cool. It's a little sort of one-up box itself there with some arcade stuffy. But yeah. And then we have the thing from this month. Just to announce what we got. We got first up we had a bobblehead. Um collect all eight. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yep. Two a Pac-Man candy tin. No arcades can pick up Pac-Man. This candy tin is shaped like a retro arcade cabinet inside a strawberry flavoured Pac-Man candies. I would not have thought these were, these were strawberry flavoured, but I guess it has to be yellow because Pac-Man. Three, a Spider-Man. It is Spider-Man. I'm going to have like 100 comments down below, not 100 comments, but a few comments down below saying, There's not Deadpool, it's Spider-Man. Spider-Man Zipper. What's Capcom about Marvel? That's right. Turn a boring old zipper into an amazing one of your own Spider-Man zipper pull. Wear it proudly on your jacket, bag pack, or keys. Did you know that in 1991, Sega came out with a, with a Spider-Man arcade game? Uh, four metallic arcade decals. So that's what this is. It's a decal rather than a sticker. I knew what it was. I just didn't know the name. Snap it on your laptop, smartphone, or anywhere you can find. You don't recommend you slap it on kids, but you can go ahead and try. Then number five, a space alien lanyard. So it's not Pac-Man. Oh, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm screwing up today, guys. It's a space alien one. I can, I can see that now. It's got the green space alien on it and all the other ones. I know that now, I just assume it was Pac-Man, because I'm just an idiot. And also now that celebrates arcade gaming. And then six, the exclusive Fight and Fight Revolution t-shirt. There we are. That's that. Is that lovely t-shirt we got. This one does look really cool one, to be honest. I love this one. Dance Dance Revolution. No, Fight Fight Revolution. I'm holding it upside down, I'll tell you so. Oh shirts, you can't tell which is the top and which is the bottom sometimes. There we are. Fight Fight Revolution. Sweet. Okay, so that is this month's One Up Box, guys. As always, if you're interested in learning some more about One Up Box, it's available in the US and Canada right now. I think the UK is soon to come, so keep your eyes peeled. If you're interested in learning some more about One Up Box, there'll be a link down below in the description for you guys to go and check it out and see if you want to buy it. It is worth it. As we saw, we got sweets, we got a lanyard, we got a t-shirt. T-shirt's always worth it, uh, as well as some sort of little goodies as well. So it's worth it, in my opinion at least. Um, but, if you want to see some more, go down below. But for now, I'll be seeing you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, my friend.